few things you might not know about the woman behind the pompadour. This fashionista actually started her career by studying to be a designer in a Paris fashion college. Even though she says she doesn't enjoy designing clothes, her journalistic ten ten tenacity was always there. During the connection, she and a friend snuck into Karl Lagerfeld's show for clothing by dressing up and pretending to be cleaning ladies. <laughs> they bought brooms and buckets at a hardware store, tied rags around their heads, and showed up at the venue at 5 a.m. posing as the cleaners. From once inside, they hid under the stage for hours until guests started arriving. They discarded the mops and rags, and they wandered out to catch the start of the show. That was the beginning of Susie's career in fashion. But tonight, she's being recognized by her 25 years in the International Herald Tribune, where she has set this gold standard for fashion reporting, giving designers more sleepless nights than any prescription drugs they could get their hands on. <laughs> she counts an OBE in the Chevalier of the Legion of Honor among her many accolades. And if the pen is mightier than the sword, then she is fashion's overseer, revered for being frank, fearless, and free from editorial constraints. But behind the myth is a lady who also likes a good laugh. She's never missed a single one of my parties, often to be found in the middle of the dance floor with her snappy snap camera capturing the fashion moment of the night. And as passionate as she is about fashion, she's passionate about her family. She's never allowed her incredible work ethic to interfere with being there for her three sons and her beloved grandchildren. So tonight, I'd like to invite Ambassador for the British Fashion Council, Samantha Cameron, on stage to honor the incredible, unstoppable legend that is Susie Menkes. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight we are honouring an incredible woman. She is respected, loved and adored by all. We are so proud that such a legend in the global fashion industry is British. So may I please welcome to the stage Susie Menkes. <laughs> to thank may surprise you. They are my editors from when I first started at the Times of London when I left Cambridge, then when I went on to work uh, at the Times again after a period when I was at the Evening Standard, chosen by, of course, Anna Winter's father, Charles Winter. And then on to the International Herald Tribune, now known as Init. In International New York Times. The great thing about all those editors was that they simply couldn't imagine that any journalist could take anything that would uh, harm their perception of how to write a story. In other words, no freebies, no free trips, things that to this day I carry with me. But at that time, that's what all the editors did. And there has been something of a falling down in these recent years, and it's a difficult time for fashion, difficult time for newspapers. But I do believe that those editors instilled in me the feeling that it's right to step away, not to be too much in bed with designers, and never to accept things as presents. And I know this sounds very quaint and old-fashioned now, but it's something that I believe in deeply. And thank you to those editors, and thank you for everyone who's been cheering me tonight. Yeah. 